So this is what you're driving on, Floodwood Road. You go by the Saranac Golf Course. You drive actually drive through the golf course to get back to this road. St. Regis Canoe Outfitters is further down um, to the right here. Uh, they rent kayaks and canoes, and they have a small supply, uh, you know, camping supplies and whatnot, uh, food. They, uh, they're off the grid down there. They run propane for the refrigerators, and I think there's solar for a, a telephone or something like that. Um, very cool place. Check it out. They also have a branch in um, Tupper Lake. So, not Tupper Lake, sorry, Saranac Lake. So your signs look like this. This is site number 10, like I said. Uh, you can get a big overall. Like I said, this is a giant site. So I'm just going to kind of walk us by it. Dan's truck is over there. That's how we came. So we're car camping. Not my preferred method, but it is a chance to get out in the woods. Try some gear out. Um, take you down the middle pond. The site continues over this way. A lot of room here. But you're right on the road there, but there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of designated camp spots here, so I'm not sure. Outhouses right over there. We weren't here 15 minutes before DEC, that's the Department of Environmental Conservation, who oversees these uh, campsites, uh, came here and they asked us the standard questions how long are you going to be here? How many of you are there? That kind of stuff. If you're here more than three nights, you need, I think it is, you need a permit. And if you got more than like 10 people, you need a permit. So I've got the Warbonnet Blackbird set up over here. First time I'm, I'm pitching the Warbonnet Superfly. Um, got pole mod going. I'm running the ridge line under the under the tarp. I don't normally do that, but um, I didn't have a lot of room to work with. I'm using the Tato tarp connectors up here. You can see those. Uh, Dutch Ridgeline kit. Um, I have hammock gear, 20 degree quilt on there. Probably going to be too hot for that. Um, prepared to put the, the got my doors just kind of jury rigged back on the tarp. Um, I'm, I'm doing the uh, Dutch's tarp worms. I think those are hook worms. Maybe those are hook worms. I'm not sure which ones are which, but. Um, first time pitching the Superfly. It's a little loose. I, I tend to be conservative because I don't want to pull rip anything out. Here's my view once I go up into porch mode. I'll be looking out here. There are two loons. Uh, one year we came here and we watched a mother fledge her two loons, her babies. Um, that was pretty cool. She just gradually started leaving them longer and longer and she just flew off and eventually by the end of the weekend she never came back. And they were on their own. So I'm taking you over to our fire pit. The deer flies are out in full force. There's the fire pit. Well, Dan brought some wood and we've got some birch over here we'll burn later. And a nice little uh, beach. Water's pretty low, it hasn't rained much. Um, but I'll take you out. So, like I said, this is part of the. Uh, Five carries or seven carries of the St. Regis Canoe Wilderness. You check that out. Beautiful day. We got a beautiful day. We got so, so lucky with this spot. I believe there's a carry at that end where you've got to carry to the next lake and then down over, down in that, in the middle down there, I believe there's another carry where people come from. Um, I think you can come from Rollins Pond, which is a state campground. So back over here, we're going back up. That's my chair, the blue one with a little stool. That is from uh, Jacks or Better, that little stool. There's Nick, 14 year old stud. <laughs> There's Dan, that's Dan's son, Dan's tent. There's the kitchen, Dan's uh, on kitchen duty. Nick's got a little tent there, it's a little too small for him. That's the wrong one. Uh, we're, we got all kinds of gadgetry going here, so maybe I'll make some videos some, of later on with that. But we've got the Anchor solar charger going, and that, that charged my phone up pretty quick. Got a couple of Luminar, what are these, what are these called? Lucy. 
Lucy Emerge. I gave one of these away in my uh, 50 subscriber contest, but Dan and Nick both have one, and I have one of those recharging up in the sun. Uh, uh, like I said, we got two loons out there, so hopefully I can get some, some at least audio of them singing. So that's a, that's a tour of Camp Number Ten on Middle Pond here in Lake Clear, New York, Floodwood Road. Uh, yeah, we got one heck of a day here. Dan's probably going to do a little fishing. He says he can catch fish. I've never seen it, but uh, we'll we'll see if he can get one. And if he does, we're going to do a video of uh, him uh, catch, you know, cook, preparing it, and then we'll cook it and eat it. So we'll see you in a little bit. Can you see it, bud? Deer fly, I'm trying to. Jeez. <coughs> there it is, right there, bud. You got her. Nice job. Can you stand? Yeah, he doesn't swim any worse than I do, I'll tell you that. I can't put my face in the water because the water goes up my nose. Nick, stand up. You get it? All right, we're attempting to do Jiffy Pop on the camp stove. I gotta figure out how to light this. Yeah, you can hear the butter going. See? Like that. You can feel it swashing around in there. Nick's doing this for the first time. Well, that, that's a lot better. Yeah, we tried this on the campfire and got it. Didn't terribly wrong the first time. We did it a couple years ago. And then it's... We successfully pulled it off on the campfire once, but it's a lot more work. Is there supposed to be smoke? Yep, that's steam. Mm. Oh, the wings have started. So we're gonna pop some popcorn, then we're gonna watch a movie on uh, on the iPad. He's getting stuck in there. Oh, it's starting. Yeah, 
it'll, it'll pop open after it. You don't, oh, easy, 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 easy. You don't have to speed up. Once it slows down, we'll know it's done. All right, pull it off. Pull it off? That's the end of it. Yep, put it on the other burner. There we go. So I'm going to turn it off. You're going to want it. Oh, look at that. That's all wicked hot. So yeah, don't touch that over there. So it'll basically just pop open? No, we got we got we got to pop it open. Turn it open. And, and it, should I grab my knife? Yeah, you gotta gotta go from the center because you gotta use that silver thing as the bowl. And you don't want to tear it like all the way down because it'll. So basically, it's like a little tiny X. <coughs> yeah, and then you peel. Yeah, that would work. And then you could peel it back. There's one part. Now I'm gonna just pull the back. Look at that. I'd say I, I did pretty well. Good job here, first time, yeah. Mm. Oh, Excellent. There's a little bit of stuff in there. Oh, that's all right. Uh, aluminum. Oh, that's all right. We'll, we'll, that. we'll, we'll pick that out. Just don't eat it. Aluminum is good. <laughs> it's, it's, it's an essential uh, vet vitamin. I, I'd, be the idiot, I'd be the idiot to grab it and start eating. What do I do? And your lens is there. You can just film me. It's, it's, uh, is it on now? Yeah, it's going. Holy crap, you look like a professional. Just hit the red button. 